Welcome back. Love is in the air and we love it. If you missed it earlier this week, our tech guru and good friend for many moons now, Grant Hines, popped the big question to his girlfriend, now fiance, Amble Barnard, on the latest episode of the Insider SA. And that obviously aired on Monday. Then I'll join us on the couch to chat a little bit about what looked like the most beautiful and magical experience. And of course, a little birdie told us that there uh, was a star involved and that the, the, the bar has been raised considerably for every <laughs> other guy that is intending on proposing. Um, congratulations, you guys. Obviously, you've gotten a lot of those messages because you thankfully have shared so many of these amazing moments with us just in general your amazing personal journey is just so cool so congrats Thank you. and congrats <laughs> and congrats and congrats We're because just doing it's everything. Just, yeah it's just so beautiful man we absolutely love it how does it feel how do you do you feel different now that you're engaged is it has it fully sunk in that y'all are gonna get married it hasn't because I think we have so many other things on the go so I don't even know. We haven't even set a date for the wedding. We haven't even thought about that. You must be relieved because so much planning went into this puppy. <laughs> this, was, this was a James Bond-esque <laughs> like, planning situation. Even the <laughs> setting was... And, and like, fortunately, there are crew behind the camera and in the control room that know all about like, my procedure to get to this point from like early... Started planning in Jan. And then oh. there was COVID lockdown, we felt pregnant. There was, um, like, I had the ring designed, like, w w in Jan, or in February, actually. You and then I bought the star in, like, June. Like, that's when you see the certificate in, in the footage from the, on the Insider. And uh, fortunately, um, we're super grateful for, uh, well, myself, for Patience and Simone and the team. They just, got like, on board, yeah. You know, helping, helping, like, do this whole thing. Because we love, like, love, my jitsu. friend. <laughs> and literally, the stars had to align for this to, to all come together. Did you not have a clue? When this I, weekend I to Sutherland was booked, did you think, okay, it's just the influencer weekend, we're going to do some cool content? Up until the point where he actually got down, I had... No clue. And it was really smart of you because there was a camera crew there. So I wasn't suspicious. There wasn't someone with a camera following us around. It was like a double a whammy. It was like a yeah. double, double whammy. So I, I knew that the salt was one of uh, Amble's bucket list items. I thought it was a coincidence. So yeah, Amble was like, this is a great coincidence. <laughs> and like, uh, and uh, we, we, you know, we put this together and then we arrived and then I named the star. And I thought at some point, you'll see in the show when you watch it, like, there's a point where I give her the star and I think, like, she's going to guess at this point. Because she knows that, you know, we, we I don't want to put, I don't think it's right for men to put women on the spotlight. If yeah. They, you know, just Look, like, it is put something the pressure. you talk about. Yes. Yeah. But then it becomes the mastery of kind of engineering that moment so that it really does stand up. How nervous were you? Um, I was very nervous, and I was nervous because I, I couldn't even tell. I was so nervous because I thought Luckily, I you're thought normally was quite out. a nervous individual, <laughs> quite anxious. So it, it helped you in this instance. I just like yeah, and, ah. and everybody just like came together. Uh, Daniel at Salt, obviously we know. Oh, him. what a champion. He also just yeah. was just like on it, um, and we I kind of like pivoted things last minute. And then when I gave her the star, I was like, "You're gonna guess this." And then as I started realizing, she she hasn't worked this out. So then, I, then, I get, then I had this boost of confidence, going, "Okay, cool. I've got I can, this. I can, put, I can get down, and she won't." Uh, with Lynn's, I had to kind of talk myself away from it, and I think by the end of it, she thought I was about to break up with her because I was talking <laughs> so much nonsense. Like, because you do, like, your, your brain does silly things, um, and then the moment happens when you actually dropped to one knee. What went through your? Did, did you know? Oh my word! Or were you like, "What is he doing?" No, so I had I had Chuck and then he just he kept talking and he kept talking. <laughs> and then the you can kind of see in the clip he, he sort of gets the question out and I'm already shouting, Yes! Yeah. <laughs> so she's like, Why are you taking so long? Because <laughs> I want a speech, it's a moment, I want it to last. And it's on know? camera, dude. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned Salt, you were out there being hosted by the most incredible organization. I mean that that to me is the pinnacle of where science is at the moment, and they've got big things planned. You had so many cool activities what a way to, if you're gonna get married do it in style what was that weekend and the experience like uh, I was well firstly I think it was just a magical weekend in general because we had the snow we had everything kind of aligned pretty the stars aligned wow well, yeah yeah the, so the, so the place was full of snow like like packed with snow there was uh, uh, the star the, the stars were clear um, it was pretty cold, but to have the night sky was really important for me. I wanted to get some really nice photos of the stars. That was kind of part of my 
part of my grand Your brief, team. yeah. <laughs> yeah, and um, and they just it just worked out. We got some. When you watch the episode, you'll see there's we, there's, we go stargazing, uh, and it's here in South Africa. That was the other sure, wild yeah. thing. It's like we don't realize how how many of our natural resources, including our clear skies in the Northern Cape, are. Yeah, for you know, sure, and man. When you go there, it just felt. I kept on saying it, and Abel was like, "You just keep on saying this," but I, it's like it's another. It feels like you're on another planet. Like it just, I mean, there's a reason why the, the scientific world is basing one of the largest telescopes ever to be built partly in that it, area. And, right? it's, and it's accessible to us. So I do recommend people go and check it out, but have a look at the insert and see some of the stuff that we did. You know, we used bike. Rochekloof was an amazing venue mm. for us. So that's where we were put up. Uh, we, we bike rided, we saw cheetahs, we um, went stargazing. We, yeah, it was. Oh, amazing. wait, and? You've also got engaged. Yeah, I forgot about that. Hey, <laughs> it's so amazing. It's been so wonderful to watch your relationship grow because we've we've had a front row seat from when you first started dating, literally to this point. Yeah, and we love it. After the first date that we had together, I was in studio and I was just raving. And Graham was like, "Okay, okay." Yeah, <laughs> and I, 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 I hope I didn't put additional pressure on you, dude. But you nailed it. You did it, and you've got yourself a winner. And I can say that to both of you because you're both wonderful and amazing. You're going to be the most amazing parents. Thank you. This child has an unfair advantage at life, and that is just so beautiful. We love you guys. And of course, you can relive the nerves, the moment of elation, the moment of slight confusion and nervous overtalking, <laughs> as it uh, um, is expected. You can catch the repeat of The Insider right here on S3 at 1 p.m. tomorrow. This one is unmissable. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we love love.